EA Sports FIFA 20 sponsors Saturday Social. We're here courtesy of Elevate Football with Rian Brewster. Rian, uh, we're going to be quizzing you on your Liverpool teammates' FIFA stats. Before we get into it, how are you finding life at Liverpool? All going very well at the minute. Yeah, I can't complain, you know. Great start to the season from the boys. I think it's going really well. Uh, right, let's talk about your FIFA ratings. Let's talk about yours. Now, the reason I mention this is because I saw your tweet when you saw your card uh, for the first time. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. Obviously, a Call of Duty reference there. Yeah. So I'm gathering that you're not best pleased with your, your card. Your first no, item. I think because I put something out last year, you know, that my shoot was going to get better, and I don't think it did. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, mission failed. But we go again, don't we? What do you think you should be overall then? Silver. Silver? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Maybe, what am I, 64? 64, yeah. Maybe 67? 67. So just a little bit, you're not yeah, asking too bit, much. No, just a bit, no, not just a bit, bit higher. A little bit. Okay. But to be fair though, my player's actually good. Yeah. He scores a few goals for me. I'm you not gonna lie. yourself quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? And I do score a few goals, I can't lie. <laughs> <Fair play. laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, another player who I think is a bit underrated on FIFA is Roberto Firmino. Uh, before we tell you what rating he is, what do you think he deserves to be overall? At least 89. 89, he's 86. Yeah. So you think, that, you think that's too low? Yeah. Where does he rank for you in, in terms of best number nines in world football? Because you train with him, you see what yeah. he's like day to day. How, how good is he? Easily top three. I'm saying that as a striker, He's up there with one of the best. I think he's an, he's an amazing player and so underrated in the football industry. And only lately he's been uh, regarded as one of the best at what he does. Yeah. Because he's not a typical uh, nine. He's, he's a, quite a unique number nine, yeah, isn't he, in the way he's, he plays? He's his own, yeah. his own nine. He made it himself. <laughs> <laughs> a new number, yeah. Yeah, like he comes, comes in, goes high. He's all over the place, to be honest. And that's what I think helps the team a lot. Right, according to FIFA 20, who do you think is the highest rated player at Liverpool? Let's have Mo or VVD. I'm going to say Mo. To be fair, spot on, it's both of them. So I tried to trick you a little bit. Both uh, Virgil van Dijk, Mo Salah, 90. Yeah, so 90. you're spot on. And I remember you, seeing a 90 or 91. Yeah, so you're bang on. Um, very hard to split those two, isn't it? Yeah. So two great players, two different players, obviously, as well, for the positions they play. Yeah, I think um, Mo's goals. Uh, last year, won us a lot of games. Yeah. I just remember the one that stands out, probably Napoli, 1-0 to take us through yeah. the Champions League. You know, we could count on him a lot to score our scores and, and winning goals. And of course, VVD, along with the back four, um, and obviously Alisson, uh, to keep us clean sheets and for the boys at the front to do the business. Look at Virgil van Dijk, you mentioned Mo there. Let's talk about Virgil van Dijk for a minute, because looking at it from the outside, I don't see it day to day, of course. He seems to be someone that has just transformed Liverpool. Just an unbelievable signing. Do you think he deserves to win the Ballon d'Or? Because he's obviously, a lot of people are putting his name forward to it. Is he that good for you? He deserves to win it or be amongst it? Yeah, of course. Like, why not? Why not have a centre half win the, the Ballon d'Or? And you know what he's done? Obviously, winning the Champions League. You know, people would say, of course, I'm um, changing Liverpool the way, the way he's done because we keep a lot of clean sheets with him and Alisson. And the, our back four has like, transformed a lot. And I think everybody has confidence when uh, now with our back four and our keepers. Yeah. Do you think he will win it? I hope so. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. Don't worry. You got my vote, Virgil. Got my vote. <laughs> okay, who is the fastest player at Liverpool? Is this FIFA? Yeah, according, all according to FIFA 20. It's going to be Sadio or Mo, but I'm going to go Sadio. Yes, and you're right again. Mo Salah second with 93. Sadio Mane 94. That is yeah, rapid. Yeah, yeah, for so. Don't worry, man. I use him on FIFA a lot. <laughs> Run down the left a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I use, to be fair, I use the wide players a lot. This little ball over the top, <laughs> over the fullback, and. They're going in the way. Yeah. And he is rapid, isn't he? Oh, no, he's quick. Probably, I'd say, just not from the FIFA stats anyway, I think him and, him and Mo are the quickest in the team. OK. Uh, and it's interesting with Mane as well, because Lionel Messi voted for Sadio Mane as the best player in the world at the FIFA Best Awards. Do you think, you're talking about Firmino getting the credit he deserves earlier, do you think Sadio Mane recently has started to get the credit that he deserves? Of course. I think right now, personally, I think he's uh, one of the best wingers in the, in the world. And I'm not surprised that Messi, <laughs> of course, he's not. He's on a different planet. Yeah. But I'm not surprised that he voted for, for Sadio. So you agree with that? You think he's up there with one of the best yeah. in the world in that position? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Okay, uh, this, is a, this is a good one as well. Uh, who do you think has the best finishing in the Liverpool squad? Mo. Yes, spot on. I know, because I used that at FIFA. <laughs> FIFA, <laughs> FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA. <laughs> you played a lot of FIFA. Are you good at FIFA then, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, wait, best in the team. Best, best at Liverpool? Yeah. Really? Okay. Anyone challenge me? 
I know Trent, I've already challenged Trent. Go beat on. Him, beat him already, I've beat him already. If he wants it again, you know where I am. He was scared to, he's scared to add me online as well. Really? Only recently added me again. Trent Alexander-Arnold was yeah. scared to add you online because you yeah. did. It took about a week to add me, but he actually added me the other day, so don't worry, man. I'm coming for you again. So you're, so. Be you're better than Trent then. Yeah. Any other players that, that have given you a game that you think, fair play, he's got no. a bit in his locker here? None no. at all. Okay, really no. the man. Uh, let's talk about your flying fullbacks now as well, Robertson, Alexander-Arnold. We know they get loads of assists, two top players, of course. But who do you think, according to FIFA 20, is better at crossing? Robo. I looked at that already. When we went to the FIFA launch, me and yeah. Trent, we looked. Oh. We looked at it and I remember Robbo beating him by, I think, like two or something. Do you know what? I was so happy with this one. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's only one in it. <laughs> Trent Alexander-Arnold, 88. Andrew Robertson, 89. I yeah. thought, I've got him here. Nah, I, I remember. thought you'd think it's Trent and straight away, you've gone for it. Yeah, I remember. I remember <laughs> that one. And in terms of fullbacks, you say but, I mean, both have been so consistent yeah. for quite a while now. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they're one of the best fullback pairings oh, in the world football? They are the best in the world. In the world, yeah. Straight away for yeah. you. Go on, name me someone better. Like, well, I can't pair in pair in as a two. As a two, I don't think you can um, get anyone better than them at the moment as a pair. Yeah, and going back to you personally, do you set yourself targets for this season? Is it is it breaking into the Premier League, getting your first yeah. Premier League cap, amount of caps or goals? Do you set yourself individual targets, or yeah. because you're so young, is it just you know do you just see what happens? No, of course you've always got to sort of set yourself targets, and I think um, my target this year is, um, of course, uh, making my debut in the Prem and having a few appearances for. For Liverpool Football Club. Love that, Rian. Thank you. Thanks for your time, mate. Good Thank luck you. for the season. Thank Talk you. Man.